Hey guys, it's Melissa from the Healing Circle. Welcome. I know it's late again. Um, can I say my watch broke? No, <laughs> no watch. Um, anyway, welcome. I just wanted to pop on here and say hi and to post today's video of Food for Thought. Um, and I didn't really have too much planned. Well, I did, but then it fell apart. So here I am, standing here, recording myself, talking to you instead of having the cameraman do it and making it all professional and pretty. We're just going to have it just straight forward. That work? I hope so. So anyway, I want to touch on the Ho'oponopono sort of belief. And it's not just Ho'oponopono, it's just um, sort of a kind of generalized belief. But um, yeah, how about forgiveness and forgiveness of yourself, loving yourself. Have you ever, I'm sure you have, or you may not have, if you haven't, and great. But if you have, have you ever felt like something was your fault, even if you did or didn't have anything to do with it, but you just felt it deep inside that it was like your fault, or you felt guilty or something for something that happened, and that you felt like you needed to forgive yourself, and instead of forgiving yourself, or even asking for that forgiveness, you kind of just sit with it and it ends up kind of eating you up and making you feel horrible because you the guilt just piles up and up and deeper and deeper and then you're kind of lost at that point well try just simply asking yourself for forgiveness just say please forgive me see how it feels because you can't really forgive yourself unless you ask yourself right kind of makes sense so just ask yourself and even if part of you says, no, you're not worthy, just remind yourself you are and forgive yourself because we all make mistakes. Part of being human is we make mistakes. We have feelings. We sometimes react instead of respond. And we, you know, sometimes we say things to people. Sometimes we hurt people. Sometimes we do things that we just don't mean to do and are accidental. And we want forgiveness, whether it's from ourselves or for someone else to forgive us. If you're willing to ask somebody else to forgive you, why not ask yourself? What's wrong with asking yourself to, for a little bit of forgiveness? Why not forgiving yourself for something you think you may or may have not have done, right? So what's wrong with forgiveness? Not too much, really. But on that same thing, same sort of subject is the self-love. Like, I guess you can't really or don't feel really feel like asking for that forgiveness if you don't find that you deserve the love or the self-love right so maybe we start by doing the whole let's love ourselves let's treat ourselves like we matter like we belong here and let every person matters like if, if everybody else matters why don't you you may have done made mistakes you may have made people angry you might have done all kinds of things but you still deserve love right so it's not about um just sitting in and feeling the pain and not loving yourself. It's about accepting yourself for who you are and loving yourself for who you are. Giving yourself that moment, that time, that attention that is warranted, that you need, that you deserve, right? You deserve, like, time outside. You deserve um, a nice cake for your birthday. I mean, silly little things. You deserve it just like everybody else does, right? And so what if you made some bad mistakes or decisions or whatnot people can change and everybody's entitled to love to feel love and if you can't love yourself who else is going to or who else can many many people of course but you got to start with yourself you need to love yourself you need to appreciate yourself you need to treat yourself right you need to go to the docks when you need a docks you need to see some mesophysical person to help read your cards or do Reiki or do hypnosis. You need to do anything that you feel you need for you because why? Think about it. Don't have to. You know why. You know you deserve it. So a little bit of self-love folks. No, no, no. Lots of self-love guys. Love yourself. Respect yourself. It's okay to forgive yourself. Sometimes it's even okay to realize that you don't need forgiveness, that there's nothing to ask for. Sometimes it's okay just to forgive, just to forgive. So we're going to take a second here because I know, especially when I get talking, hey, blah, 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 and I'm like super speed. But 
but slow down for a second because I really want you guys to try this exercise with me. No, we're not going to do push-ups. Those days are over. When I was in the Navy, all done. Don't need those anymore. Just getting it good for you if you like doing push-ups. And me, not so much. Not anymore. Um, so exercise. Uh, another exercise. Different type of exercise. Just as important. So you guys can either look in the mirror at yourself. Yay. Or turn your phone on and hi yourself. You know, record yourself so you can remind yourself. Okay, this exercise is just... Just like with the Ho'oponopono exercise we did before. Just say it to yourself if you want to. Just whisper to yourself, I love you. You can whisper, shh, quiet, good, I love you. See, you did it. You did it, right? Yeah. So try to get a little louder. I love you. Try them on side and everybody can hear. Well, probably my neighbor's about a half a mile down the way. But, um, but they might be able to hear me. Let's say it. I love you, right? So I don't care if the world knows because you know what? I love me. And you guys say it. Do it with me. Ready? Exercise. Who we did our stretches. Ready? We're ready to go now. Say it. That's right. I love you. You love yourself. You have to start with some self-love, self-appreciation, and some self-respect. And from there, the world is your oyster. Sorry I got startled there because we had a little neighborhood kitty cat just run through and I was like, boo! Anyway, I'm in a silly kind of sort of mood. Maybe because it's fall. Maybe because it's like... 30 degrees out and I'm in my t-shirt it was normal for me anyway however it's a little chilly anyway guys I'm done with these exercises now we can do these exercises all the time so seriously here's the serious me back again hold on switch here I am okay so pause good now really say it really mean it I love you you can say it to me it makes me feel good anyway thank you anyway Say it to yourself. You can say it to the universe. You can say it to, you can say it to whoever. You say it to people you love, right? You can say it to them. So, why not say it to yourself? So, try it again. We're doing good. We're making a good team here. Doing it. Good job. I love you. See, nice and easy. You can say it as words. I love you. Yay! They're words, right? Okay, now say it with meaning. Say it like you really mean it, because I know you do. I know somewhere inside. You have so much love for yourself that it almost frustrates you that you don't show it, right? Maybe I'm just talking about myself. I don't know. Maybe. I'm trying to kind of project, guys. So I hope it's working for you. But anyway, try it. Really mean it. I love you. Like, really mean it. Even if you say it to yourself to really mean it. But feel it. Feel when you say these words. Feel it in every cell in your body. Like, really, really feel it. Because... You need to love yourself. You need to respect yourself. You need to give yourself what you need health-wise, emotionally, physically, whatever you need. You know, in good manner. Let's not do anything bad, anything mean. To be happy and positive. Okay, so, um, so say it. I love you. And if you're having a bad day, or if you've done something that you feel needs forgiveness, ask for it. Just don't even have to ask for it. Just say, I forgive you, or please forgive me to the universe, to yourself. I mean, try it. Like, if you just use those words and just kind of use them for yourself, for the universe, for just because. Like you heard, if you heard one of the other videos, you knew that I was talking about walking through a space that you just simply picked up negative energy because you were there or not. Or not necessarily negative energy, but the energy from a negative event or something. And you just feel kind of, oh, like, wow, that's some weird feeling I've not felt in a while. But um, And even if you get that little bit of negative feelings, or if you see something on TV and on the news or something and it upsets you, like um, an accident or something, that you're part of that situation, right? You had nothing to do with it. You were miles miles away in your own home but you saw it and therefore the energy and the emotion that came from there we were now a part of right um hopefully that makes sense to you but if you do understand then you realize that in some tiniest way you're there and part of it that energy so that energy was shared with you so no you weren't there but you were part of it now because of the energy right so perks of being all energy and all connected is that you know if you see it hear it smell it whatever then you're kind of part of it right so even though you didn't do anything at all you still took part in or you were part of it because of the energy 
So you can then say, please forgive me. I'm sorry. I love you. And thank you. Those are the four top phrases for Ho'oponopono. But, or you can simply just say, I love you. You love yourself. You love the universe. And you ask, please forgive me. You're doing the same thing. You're asking for forgiveness for the part, for the emotions that you might have carried. Because you might have gotten that negative vibe. And then went off to the store and kind of like, oh man, that's so sad. And draw, brought with you that negative energy there for sharing it with everybody in the store. Like it's like a domino effect. And we don't always think of it, but it's true. And so if you think of it in that sense, then you're loving yourself, you're loving the universe, and you're even loving something else out there something to be able to help that situation so if you take that part of that situation as it being your part and just your part of the situation then you know then that um you took that and you feel that negative energy from watching it and you cleanse yourself and you heal yourself and you forgive yourself and you love yourself then in as the domino effect shares the energy it also helps your creator repair the energy so as you feel better from loving yourself and forgiving yourself it also goes kind of like a mirror effect where it goes back in the direction and it helps in some sense in that area up to as far as even victims and feeling energy and um it can go way back and it goes very deep into Ho'oponopono if you guys want to know more uh, I'll leave it up to you to ask me some questions down below in the comments and uh if you want to see something more on Ho'oponopono let me know. Be happy to throw that on here for you guys. Um, but I'm going to wrap this up. Mostly because this is on my phone. I know I cheated this week. I'm sorry. And my phone's dying. So, you yeah, know. We'll wrap this up. And it's getting dark. So the pixel, pixels are going to break and all that fun stuff. That I know not much about. But anyway. We'll leave it like that. You guys comment down below. Then let me know what you think. Let me know if you want to hear about Ho'oponopono ask about qu any questions about it or if you have any other questions and remember guys you are always loved and you guys are awesome and remember it starts with you loving yourself and respecting yourself guys so try that try that really hard try to love yourself and uh yeah i love you you're awesome thanks for watching guys and uh until i see you friday on what if which the question is Goodness gracious, I'm going to jump on Wednesday and tell you how's that so we have a little plan. If you have suggestions, comment, comment. Anyway, I know on here, half prepared. Okay, not even half, but I tried. Anyway, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, until I see you Wednesday now, because we're going to jump on just to say what if, so you know what we're doing Friday. So we'll see you Wednesday briefly until Wednesday, guys. Stay healthy and stay safe and comment below and like and subscribe if you'd like to. If you want to be part of this healing circle family, which I hope you do, then please subscribe below. Thanks again, guys. Catch you later.